dude, I get it. I want the mega coin just as much as you do. But some things are just not meant to be. And I hate to see you waste all of your yellow paint like this. But I want the money, Huey, I want the money. Please. You've got the gold fever, Mario. Snap out of it. Let's go get some regular sized coins to take your mind off this monstrosity. But Huey, please. Please, Huey. Just give me a chance. Just give me a chance for the gold. Alright, he doesn't say anything else. Anyway, hey there everybody! Welcome back to Paper Mario Color Splash. This is Spiraling Helix. Last time, we went through... You trying to steal my in intro? No, I'm gonna fight you while I'm doing it. Last time, we made our way through Sha Chateau Chanterelle, where I was going to see if we could meet the professor, but it turns out he didn't be there. So then we went looking for him in Marmalade Valley, and he wasn't there either, although there was a very cool train. So right now we are currently making our way through Mondo Woods looking for the professor who should be able to give us a permit to look into Marmalade Valley a bit more where there's some really fragile stuff that we don't want to break. Or something along those lines. Anyway though, Mondo Woods, very scary big enemies, but also big cards as you just saw me use one of those new cards. Anyway, although I only need one jump, I don't care about hop slippers, so I'm gonna waste that one too. Because they suck! Anyway... There. The intruder to my outro has been defeated, and so has my outro. Now onwards with the level! Which I think might end in the next room after this one anyway. But this is where the path splits, so let's make our way through. And, oh, would you look at that? It's a Goomba that isn't big. It's a tiny little Goomba right over there. Well, let's head on over and see what that tiny little Goomba is up to. Right, as we get some more good cards. Eh? Oh, you sad little Goomba. Let's make you a sad huge Goomba. <laughs> Whoa, Mario, did you see that? Never mind, I saw it and I'll explain it to you right now. That weird nearsighted guy just inflated that Goomba. Maybe he's the one making everything big! Including my voice! Okay, Huey, calm down. Kamek didn't do anything to you. Although Kamek is a guy, it's been proven! Anyway, though, we're gonna have to fight that big Goomba, so... Let's get this out of the way. I really hate fighting the big Goombas. Like, they take such a beating. We, we're getting cards. All these big cards that we're getting from here, they're cards that have their uses much later in the game, still. Big cards are good cards. Anyway, let's use a Fire Flower. Because they're strong, and all of them are hitting it. How much damage does that do? Whoa, that does a lot of damage! Can I actually get a perfect on a Mega Goomba? Yes! Yes, I can! Almost messed it up with the camera, but I can. Anyway, that will flatten out the bridge once more, allowing us to pass over it. Seriously, I'm shocked that I could do that fight without it attacking. Any... Can I get behind this? This is suspicious. Why are you here? You're there for no reason. Moving on though, I don't think we're gonna see Kamek again. 
But there is one person, the whole reason why we've come this far into Mondo Woods in the first place. Yes, that's right guys, it was to paint these colourless spots. No, not at all. It was to get that mini paint star. Okay, partial, partially that one. We do need to get that mini paint star to finish the game. But over here... Hmm, what's this? Some kind of chain maybe? I wonder if the professor dropped it. Hey, uh, sorry to bother you while you're softly crying to yourself, but would you happen to be the professor? The professor of super old things? See, we're, uh, paleontologists, and we need a permit so we can paleontologize the dig site. I am indeed the professor of super old things, but I've suffered a great tragedy. My poor little princess is missing! <laughs> That's her chain over there. <laughs> I hope you're safe and sound, my sweet little baby, wherever you are. Yeah, uh, I wish we could help, but we're kind of busy searching for the paint stars. Does she know the way home? Maybe she just went back home. Of course, she's probably waiting for me at home. My princess is as smart as she is cute. She would have known just what to do. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm off. Oh, I can't wait to see the look on her sweet whittle face. Daddy's coming, princess. Wait, professor, we really need you to issue us an excavation site permit. Yes, yes, but you have to come to my house. Wait for me, princess! I'm on my way! Well, he, he cheered up quickly. I sure hope princess is waiting for him at home. For all our sakes. Yes, I do hope so too. This must be the princess's chain. Let's leave it here for now. Because to me it just likes three little paper balls on the ground. But with that, we've finally made our way through Mondo Woods course clear! And we have an excavation permit waiting for us back in Chateau Chanterelle. I have to be softer on my shlishes every single time I say that place. But before I head to Chateau Chanterelle, we have some new levels down here that I kind of want to check out. This, oh boy, Sacred Forest has three mini paint stars. I'm pretty sure it's the only level in the whole game to have three mini paint stars, aside from Port Prisma, if you can call that level. The forest is still huge. Kamek must be some magician for the effects to reach way out here. Yeah, credit where credit is due. Kamek is a pretty good magician. I ran into this shy guy, and at first I was like, fine, whatever, no big deal, just a shy guy. But then he whipped out a straw. I thought he'd leave me alone if I pretended to be a tree. You know, my standard go-to move. But he somehow figured me out. Guess I still can't act my way out of a paper bag. Anyway, later. That toad who just ran off, he was a coloured toad, and he ran away at the beginning of a level. You know what that means, he's off to the old hangout spot in Port Prisma. We will see more of him at a later time. Although I believe there's actually another toad who's run off there, who we're gonna meet first. Anyway though, looks like we found another rescue squad. I'm the leader of the Yellow Rescue Squad. We're here to help you in your adventure. Or we're supposed to be, at least. See, we heard this big turnip was blocking a path, so we kicked into action. But none of my 11 squadettes have arrived yet. Not sure where they got, not sure they got the memo. If you see any of them around, tell them to meet me here. Your sure will, Yellow Captain. But geez, look at that turnip. I've... I can't say if I've ever had Turner before, but would you look at that? There's a mini paint star already. 
Very easy level, wouldn't you agree? Oh, oh, okay, in fairness, there is much more to the level hidden behind that turnip. So, now we have yet another goal. Time to keep our eyes peeled for some of the ye yellow rescue squad members. As we're filling in the yellow area, and if you know your primary colours, you have red, you have yellow, you have blue. Looks like the next grand, not grand, big paint star we're looking for is probably going to be a yellow one. Based on all these yellow levels we're doing, but here we have another new level. Let's see if we can explore this one, at least. Mustard Cafe. What's this music? It's a desert level. No. No! I don't want to be in a desert level, please, no! Anyway, heading up this pipe, don't worry, we won't be interacting with the desert too much here. As, well, this hand is kind of just hard rock at this point. But let's see what all these toads are waiting for. Toad, toad, say hi guys, this is the line for the bathroom, right? Need coffee. This place is so exclusive that only the chef can't get in. Or that even the chef. I'm sorry I messed up my words. I just want to meet the chef. He's a legend. It wouldn't be brunch if you didn't spend two hours waiting outside beforehand. Okay, I don't know where you're going for brunch. I can't say I've been out for brunch, but two hours? What on earth? That's crazy. Man, this place got way too popular. I used to wait here before it was cool. Anyway, seems like the pipe over here is a bit clogged up with sand. I don't think we'll be getting through this pipe anytime soon. It's all filled with sand or something. Well, let's jump off the... No, no shortcuts jumping off the cliff. Sorry, guys. There is no shortcut to do with cliffs. But the chef presents Mustard Cafe. I should have read that before. Whoa, it's another one of those massive blank spots. Gross. Are those a couple of toads hanging out in the middle? Well, it looks like it, but I see a colorless spot over here that I really want to paint in. There we go. And before I even talk to those toads, there's one more all the way down here hiding behind my coin count. And my goodness, is this a sneaky one having to move the camera? That's a good item. But let's see what these toads are doing here. Oh yeah, that's the stuff. You don't have to, like, rescue anyone right now, do you? Because I don't want this to stop. Ever. No, sir, my top priority at the moment is rescuing you from the summer heat. Although you did only pay for three hours and time is just about up. Sorry, sir, but you'll have to make another reservation. Have a nice day. Tone number five of the Yellow Rescue Squad reporting for duty. Now, if you'll excuse me, I must report to my captain in the sacred forest immediately. Sup, Mario? Look, I appreciate you coming all the way down here, but I don't have a table for you, okay? If you don't mind sitting at the bar, I can maybe squeeze you in. In three years. What can I say? The Mustard Cafe is on fire right now. We're hotter than the star I stole from the sky, you know. Star from the sky? Mario, you thinking what I'm thinking? Um, Chef, is there any way to expedite the reservation process? Perhaps if we fanned you for another couple hours. Nah, man. If I make an exception for Mario, then everyone's gonna want one. What's next? Table for Luigi? Party of four? Not in this lifetime, baby. Besides, I've got a deep tissue thwomp massage scheduled today. Hmm. 
I see. Mario, we're gonna have to figure something else out. Well, as much as I might want to paint in this giant hole... No way, dude, you're never gonna paint this whole thing. Trust me, I'm a paint can. I'm gonna try, Huey. No spot left unpainted. Yes, I'm going to ignore you, Huey. No spot left unpainted. Shut up, Huey, I can do this. I know I can. Huh. Okay. Never mind. I don't think I can do it because I am going to run out of paint. But even looking at that, I could have sworn that it just stops painting the ground eventually. Maybe that only happens later on? At the very least. Even if you could manage to paint the whole thing, even with the chef there, it would never fill in. Don't ask why. It's just plot reasons. If you hacked the game, you could never fill in the giant spot there. But look at that, we have two spots on the map. A dead end at Marmalade Valley and a rescue squad that we've got to help out. But before I end it off there, I did promise I would come to Chateau Chanterelle and pick up the excavation permit. And who knows, perhaps the princess is back. And I'm just gonna ignore that toad. He's probably just happy to see the professor's home. Oh, hello Mario. The professor is back and he seems happy. Funny though, I don't think I saw princess with him. Well, that's cause she's here, right? Please, come on. My sweet little baby. She's gone forever. <laughs> Professor, pull yourself together. I'm sure she'll turn up. So you'll help me find her then. Thank you for putting your little paint star quest on the back burner while you find my princess. You'll need this permit to access my dig site. I don't imagine my princess is there, but you never know. Come back to me, my darling. <laughs> You got excavation site permit! Well, that's all we came here to do because I, I don't want to spend any more time around the professor when he's crying on the ground like that. He might give us more work and I don't really think I'm up for being a paleontologist. But with that, guys, we finally have a level that we can finish! Could you believe us? I know we finished Mono Woods at the start, but even so, we can finish a level in one episode. That episode is the next one though, so with that guys, this has been Spiraling Helix. I'll see you guys next time everybody, bye bye.